The Terry College is proud to present its 2012 Distinguished Alumni Award to Brother Stewart. It is my pleasure to welcome Brother Stewart to the stage. Here comes the king, here comes the big number one. But wiser fear the king is second to none. Just say, but wiser, you've said it all. I just hate being compared to the king when I'm being introduced because it puts me a little bit over the top. When I sit down and I look at the two previous winners, 3.96 GPA, I look at uh, my friend Jimmy and he's got a sigma cum laude, I don't even know how to pronounce that. I'm so impressed. I got involved with the Terry Business School when a gentleman who used to be the dean came up to me one day and he says, there was it George, he says, I want you to serve on my board with the alumni board. And I looked at you and I said, uh, George, have you looked at my transcript? <laughs> George, if you know George, if he's nervous, his eyes start blinking quickly. And he says, yes, I looked at your transcript. I said, well, my GPA, George, if you don't remember, was one half of what Matt's was. <laughs> he says, brother, you attended the University of Georgia when you were here for eight years, which is basically including <laughs> summers. He said, but you did cram it into six years, and you managed to get a four-year undergraduate degree. Now, I want you to understand that my nickname is Brother Stewart, and my initials are BS. <laughs> so if you think for a second that I majored in anything else but marketing, you're wrong. <laughs> I told George, I said, George, when you're in heaven on earth, there's no sense in rushing out and meddling in the business world. And he says, brother, you got an education most folks didn't get. I would love to thank George and Marty Horn for letting me become involved in the Terry Business School. It's been one of the most worthwhile endeavors and events and groups I've ever been involved with. And when I sit down and I look at some of the wonderful things, Robert, that you and your group are doing and taking this up to the next level, it's just unbelievably, just, it's, it's scary to think where we can end up going under your leadership and your group. You should be very, very proud, and everybody in here should be very proud of what y'all are doing. When I had a, we got a report yesterday in the TDAC group, and they had a, uh, the group from the young alumni and the alumni board that uh, several of us in here used to serve on, and the energy and the focus of that group and the commitment they have is earth shattering compared to when I was on it, I guess six to eight years ago. I couldn't believe the direction they're going and how serious they are about making Terry College an absolute wonderful, wonderful accredited I mean, business school and they, they're driving it up straight up as well. Where's Joe Terrell? Joe Terrell, just think, 10 years ago, you and I talked two weeks out and said, my God, when this is over, we'll have our life back. I didn't have an employee for two months that didn't deliver or, de or sell beer that wasn't working on easels, posters, you name it. And they all kept saying, what is this for? And it's because I made a mistake and Joe made a mistake of agreeing with me that let's make some serious money for Terry Business School. Joe, thank you so much for not throwing me under that bus and supporting this. I'd like to thank Ruth Bartlett for uh, nominating me this evening. Uh, she is also a fellow distinguished alumni. You, you throw her in there with some of the other winners that are in here this evening, like Bill Griffin, who's back here. Abram Serrata, I believe you're back there as well. Uh, Betsy Camp. And then you've got, of course, the most famous winner in the past, which is Herman Terry. And we are all blessed to have his lovely wife here with us this evening, Mary Virginia. This is quite a humbling experience for me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate being receiving this honor. 
I have three quick things. My daughter-in-law said, you've got to tell them something about what you learned and accomplished while you were up there. And I don't want to go into too many details because he may pull me off the stage. But there are three quick things I wanted to share with you. That is, number one, for the young students, learn the rules, play in the rules, but get outside the box quickly and often. And you'll amaze people at how quickly you can become successful because you won't be a follower, you will become a leader. Number two, survey your customers, survey your employees, and you'll find things you need to change in your operation so that you can then satisfy them and help drive sales straight up. And then the last is this, employees. I cannot be on this stage tonight if it wasn't for the commitment of my employees and if I can't satisfy my employees, make them happy and hopefully motivate them to sell and service my customers, I would not be here. So never, ever, ever turn your back on your employees. They are the reason you will succeed. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the three mottos my daughter-in-law said Please share these with the crowd, and that's the best I have, and I apologize I'm not sigma cum laude, and I don't have a, I don't have a 3.96. I did get a 2.0. Robert, thank you from the bottom of my heart, for you and Marty, for letting me stay involved with the Terry Business School. And it's been a wonderful ride, and I can't tell how much I appreciate it.